This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the ninth annual LD Micro Main Event in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Paolo Ferro from Drone USA. It's a publicly traded company with the symbol DRUS. Paolo, welcome to SNN Live. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to have you on our program. It's great to be here. <laughs> so, for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Sure. Basically, we're a developer and manufacturer of drones, uh, rotary wing and fixed wing for applications that range from commercial to civil protection and defense. Uh, we have uh, different types of scalable UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles that can be customized for specific applications, specific gaps that exist today in those markets. I want to know a little bit of history of the company. You know, how did you guys start and how did you evolve to where you now are currently at today? So a number of us in this industry, we've been doing this for many years, and this ranges from people in business development, technologists, uh, people that have been responsible for a global sales network, notice that in the industry there are very live gaps that are today unserviced or poorly serviced by technology. So we saw a great opportunity there. And again, it cuts through three sectors, those being commercial, defense, and public uh, safety. Uh, the sectors involve precision agriculture, they involve intelligence surveillance reconnaissance mission for the protection of borders, and also police work per se, or first responders, emergency responders and whatnot. So, we knew that if we were able to get together the right technology, the right infrastructure, operational infrastructure from a manufacturer regulatory uh, sales network, we'd be able to be very successful. There aren't many players in that field today. So we operate in low altitude, uh, below 25,000 feet, um, rotary wing, fixed wing aircraft. And uh, we know exactly where the gaps in the market are. Mm -hmm. Through the years, we've established very solid connections with uh, customers, mm -hmm. decision makers, uh, end users, mm -hmm. relationships that are based on honesty, integrity, and loyalty. Mm -hmm. And we keep that network very close to our hearts. So being able to produce, being able to customize for specific applications and having the means to sell them was the perfect situation for us to put this company together and attack the market. So you will find that in this market, there are very small number of companies that are really feasible. The distance between the first and the rest of the pack is very wide. We are able to put together an infrastructure that's right on the heels of, of the leaders mm -hmm. to play in this market. So I, I want to talk to you about the company's technology. You know, I, I want to know a little bit more about it. Can you tell me? Sure, of course. So I'll start, I'll start from the smallest uh, platform that we have. Okay. We have what's called a quad rotor, which is um, basically an helicopter, a vertical takeoff and landing with four different engines that carries different types of payloads. That quad rotor is scalable, which means we can easily make it bigger or smaller for specific applications. And it's also uh, sensor agnostic. So we can put on this quad rotor, we can install specific sensors for specific applications. So, if you're looking to do a military type mission, you'll have very sophisticated sensors specifically for that. If you're looking to do precision agriculture, we can put the best camera in the world with the best data acquisition and exploitation, ex exploitation system that there is, so that the customer gets his product at the lowest price and, and, and operates very efficiently. Um, as you go up the line card of products, we have fixed wings that range from an airplane that's probably two feet uh, wingspan all the way to an airplane that has a five meter wingspan, so um, about 17 feet or so. Uh, those can, be, uh, can, can take off uh, and land vertically with transition forward flight or they'll take off from a runway, totally automatic, so a totally autonomous product that can operate automatically or manually or any combination of the two. So what I also want to know when it comes to the company's technology is what's, what's the, your competitive advantage and how is it different than what's currently av or also available on the market? So we have, we have products that we can put on the market at much lower prices than the competition and that are customized for specific gaps in the various sectors that I mentioned. So whilst 
um, a certain customer with a certain need might go out to the market and buy something that services many different gaps but not optimized for their particular need. We optimize it. We have something that's specifically designed for them and, uh, and that we can sell at lower prices of the competition. So our years of experience allow us to understand exactly where to put them, exactly how to produce them, so they, they have reliability, quality, and the best prices. And where does the technology come from? So we have uh, two footprints for manufacturing, one in Brazil where we develop and uh, produce uh, airplanes, and we're installing one in St. Louis Obispo in California, where we'll be uh, building airplanes for the North American and NATO markets. And I know you mentioned this a little bit in the beginning, but I wanted to expand on it. What are some of the markets that you're going after right now? So again, uh, the three sectors that we're going after are the commercial sector, and there, uh, most precisely, precision agriculture, uh, utilities companies that do inspection of power lines, transmission lines, and so forth, and they respond to, they do damage assessment after storms and so on. Uh, Life-saving type of equipment. In the military sector, we're looking for very specifically um, spe missions to do with intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. And for the police, we're doing exactly, uh, we help the police to, to make sure they know where the bad guys are and uh, to respond to certain emergencies with equipment that is customized for their use. So I'm, I'm a little curious too when it comes to uh, sales right now. You know, yes. are, are you, is your all your products currently available for sale, and and what's your footprint in the drone space right now in each of these markets? So that's an excellent question. Uh, we've started this a few months ago. We have a complete line card. We have other UAVs that we're getting in through some associations with leaders in the market. Uh, the sales cycle for UAVs is long. So we are currently addressing a number of opportunities that could be quite interesting, uh, but they will take some time to come to fruition. Um, one of the problems that we have today, or actually the biggest problem we have today, is the ability to respond to the increasing demand. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is looking for investment partners that believe in our story and that want to go ahead with us into the future and make this a very successful enterprise. And what's your background? You know, how did you get into this and, and maybe a little bit of the background on the whole team? Sure. So I, I started uh, many years ago, uh, many years ago uh, as an engineer. Uh, I've been in aerospace uh, almost uh, all my career. Uh, was part of a design team that uh, designed uh, uh, inertial guidance systems and gyroscopes for flying things, uh, ring laser gyro, uh, fiber optic gyro, uh, evolved into other areas of business to do strategic planning, uh, etc. and so on. Lots, lots of action internationally. Mm -hmm. And I've been in the drone business uh, for about 20 years, uh, almost 20 years. And I've covered the whole spectrum of the drone world from nano, very, very small, fit in the palm of your hand, to very large, uh, the size, uh, the length of say a 737 with a wingspan of a 757, very, very exciting times. Um, I spent time in the two largest companies uh, in the world today, uh, one, uh, both in California, one related to small UAVs uh, and the other to very large. Uh, and then uh, I, I moved to this new adventure, which has me uh, very excited. <laughs> And from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's goals and milestones for the first half of 2017? So, we are, our plan and, and what we're executing to is a progressive growth, which we're doing uh, with two vectors. One by acquisition, we have acquired a company, a solid company that is not a drone company, but has some common denominators, some synergies, but brings revenue and profits into this enterprise. So it, it feeds the drone part. Uh, we are still looking for like companies. And the other is what we call unpolished diamonds. In this market, there are hundreds of companies. There are some that are very, very good in terms of technology, but they lack the sales resources, the network, to make them successful. So uh, 
it's a shame to see some companies closing doors or struggling when they have such incredible technology. We're looking for companies like that that we can bring into the fold and help develop into a successful and in this market. So Paolo, what, another thing I wanted to know is on the regulatory side for your drones and planes. Can you comment on that and you know, maybe expand on what that means? Excellent question. So our drones are built to stay within the new uh, FAA regulations for the United States and many of the international um, regulations uh, today. So they're under 55 pounds, they can fly within line of sight and at low altitudes and they are also customizable so that as we go up into time we can make them bigger and more powerful and we'll meet regulations as they come. So we, we are built to look for the quickest vector to revenue and so understanding or having an empirical understanding of the regulations in the United States and other countries our line card is able to, to grow as we go forward into the future. Now certain missions today are not able to be performed in the United States because of regulations. For those we are working deals with manned aircraft that then will transition to unmend as time goes by. So we have lots of interesting things going on. Paolo, where can our audience go and find more information about the company? So they can go to our website, uh, DroneUSAInc.com, and feel free to contact us through the website. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the ninth annual LD Micro main event in Bel Air, California. With me again is Paolo Ferro from Drone USA, publicly traded company with the symbol DRUS. Paolo, Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.